G'day everyone. How are you going? And I hope you're well. Diesel here from Getting Around Oz Camper Trailer Travelling. And today is the first video of our trip series that we've done. And very excited to bring this one too. It's been a bit of a while coming and getting to this point, but hey, that's just how life goes sometimes. Bit of a summary in today's video. There's a little bit going on. It was we were delayed getting getting on the road for this trip, unfortunately. This video, I was uh, still really crook. Uh, you'll see in the video, Nita got bitten by a spider. She was then really ill, and um, I crashed the drone on the very first flight. I literally took it off and crashed it, and I'll, um, I'll cover that off pretty briefly as well. But the location was fantastic. Um, we really enjoyed our first night on the road, and can't wait to share more of it. Grab yourself a drink, make yourself comfortable. I hope you enjoy it, but before we get into it, Here's a quick look at what's coming up. It's that time of day. So we've arrived at camp here. It's, what's this place called, Zach? Where it is in the morning. Can I have some beer? Can you have some beer? Fortunately, Nita got bitten by a spider. Must have been last night or just before she went to bed, she started feeling sick and dizzy. And pretty nasty one. Well, Well, how he's going? It's that time of day. Well, how are you? So we've arrived at camp here. It's, what's this place called, Zach? Uh, okay. Wurrimal Station is where we are. So it's 800 k's north of Perth. And um, this trip was delayed, unfortunately. We, well, you we plan, to... yeah. We plan on being here tonight, but we planned to actually leave yesterday. And unfortunately we had to leave a day later than planned. The family got crook and I was the last one to get crook but unfortunately I got crook this week and I'm still pretty blocked up at the moment I'm probably the best I've been all week and this is the first drink that I poured myself this week so I'm pretty happy to be here at this point it's it's definitely a bit warmer here up this far and Nate's is just off with early and um, going around the torts and having a bit of a look around you might be able to hear um, a guy playing some live music down the back there. You might hear that too, it's on there. Oh, footy's playing as well, is it? Mm -hmm. Beauty. And uh, so this place we we booked as the in a, the intended second night, sorry. So 60 bucks a night here, but there's no power, so there's option between riverside sites and um, just inland sites there. There's no river because it's there's no water in the river, is there? But I'll show them in a sec, mate. Just paint a picture for them. And yeah, so no power here, which is fine. So we're here for the night and the plan is in the morning to head to our next location. And I'll just give you a quick look around here. Dad. Hang on a sec. So down there is where the restaurant and that sort of stuff is here. And you've got big grass there over here. The fridge in the car, so changing the setup a bit different here. 
Anita wasn't a fan of it because she hasn't seen it done like this before. But I've been running the fridge in the back of the Pajero. Oh, probably the maybe the last half a dozen trips and I'm actually liking it. And I think it's going to be handy for when we um, are camping up on the beach and we're going to do some beach runs and have the insulin in the car. It would clearly be handy to have some coldies ready to go. So. Can I have some beer? Can you have some beer? Not yet, mate. Uh -huh. Yeah, a few years yet. But Don't... I have fizzy drinks, so surely I can have beer. Not yet, mate. Don't worry, mate. I'll be the first person to crack a beer for you, right? When you're old enough. So I got the mat down Hi. here. It is a uh, dirty ground, and that's pretty much here. So got the car back down like that because I'll have the lights off the back there, and that'll light up this area here. And uh, there's the the riverbed there. So oh, it's just the dry season up this part of the state at the moment. And down there is where they have the uh, artesian pools. So we'll go down there. We'll, sorry, we'll definitely be going down there later on and had a, having a bit of a soak. And uh, yeah, I've got to say it's the first point um, of this week. I've actually <laughs> felt half decent. I'm very happy to be out here. Love doing this and love being out with the family. Hey. You always are. Always are what? Happy when we go camping. Yeah, I am, mate. A nice little shot of the sunset there. Hey? It's yeah, it's Friday night, so. I so no, we um just sort of settling in here at the moment. It's what time is it? That? Well, maybe I can have a look at my phone here. Oh, six o'clock. Uh, there is toilets and showers and that sort of stuff here. We'll see where we're going next. There's nothing out there, but um, marvelous beach. We had friends here last night. They're actually heading to the next location a day earlier than us, and they said it was windy as here last night and. There's not a breath of wind here. It's bloody fantastic. So nice here. So basically, when you check in at the front office here, so you have to book. You can't just rock up. And I've got to say, if we didn't book, we wouldn't have got a site. I did it the start of the week, and unfortunately, this was yeah. This this was the day that we decided we we just had to suck it up and hit the road because we had paid for this one and wasn't really an option to cancel it or blow the money. Yeah, there's a couple of camp kitchens around. There's actually. So when you check in there, they do have meals they serve at the restaurant here. Last time we were here, I'll chuck a photo up. Last time we were here, it was actually about 10 kilos heavier than I am now. We stayed in an eco tent. Last time we were heading through here, we had the boat and we're heading up to Exmouth for a fishing trip and we were tent campers back then. And none of this restaurant stuff was here. It was, I don't know, maybe six years ago. So a, lot, a lot's changed in that time here so when you check in they basically say uh, they give you the map and just draw a line down the, the side of the river here and it's basically just pick a site just pick somewhere you want or somewhere that's available and it was chuckle block the whole way down we went, went all the way down and couldn't find one and we came back up and this very first one to start here was, was set up which is great this spot here we've got access to the pools access to the toilets and the showers and and I remember there being some animals here. So yeah, last last time, from the way. yeah, last time we were here, Zach, there was actually cows or big bulls roaming through the camp, I roaming through the tents. Here. Yeah. It was crazy. Anyway, we're gonna get the kids settled in here now, and we're gonna gonna start ruffling up some dinner, and I might chuck the drone up here real quick to have it give you a bit of a look. Time to get some dinner on here now. And this will make you giggle. So I picked up the drone yesterday. Finally got him back. And they replaced it, which was pretty amazing. So I had to do a full new setup and um, reconnect everything. And 
I actually had to put the propellers on from scratch so you can see where this is going right I just sort of got them and put them on you know just yep that'll do and but I remembered as I was doing it and if you don't know they're supposed to go in a particular way <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> just as I was going to put the drone up to capture the drive in the drone just went whoop bang straight down on top of herself crashed and bent up the bloody blades and everything Brookies, you would have thought it's the first time I'm doing it. So the sun's going in now. A couple of guys got the fires going here. And I'm cooking up dinner for myself and Zach. But what have I got here, mate? What have we, what have we got to go with? What have we got here? Something and something. Chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel, yep. And what else have we got? Egg and cheese sandwich. Yeah. So nice and simple, nothing extravagant. So for myself and Zaki, got chicken schnitzel with uh, egg, cheese, and some mayo and a sandwich, and I reckon that'll do us here tonight. If there's one thing I can tell you about camping off grid or camping up in warm weather, is bread is no bloody good. You know, you don't get the amount of time amount of bread that you would anywhere else if you're up in the northern parts of australia wraps are the way to go because bread just doesn't last unfortunately but i'm not sure what else we're going to have to show you tonight the kids are just off getting bath and all showered and and cleaned up while they organized dinner here for everyone and shame we didn't get in a little bit earlier to give you a bit of a look around it is pretty awesome but uh definitely we'll give you a bit of a look around the morning we're not in too much of a rush to hit the road in the morning. We'll probably check back in the morning and make sure I get up nice and early and get a nice sunrise for you and I try and give you a bit of a look around here. Good morning and what a cracking morning it is <clears throat> again sorry about all this locked up stuff can't help it. it is what it is but might just take it for a quick look up here where the uh the bar and the artisans spas are pools so that's where we are there so literally this is the start of the river and the river goes all the way down so you can sort of pick a spot on the edge or just in land there is a heap of spots as well I think through there are sort of combination spots and a nice big grass area there uh, yeah I've had a nice sleep unfortunately Anita got bitten by a spider just above well at the base of her spine I'll say that um, must have been last night or just before she went to bed she started feeling sick and dizzy and thought it might have been the old but no, maybe it wasn't. It's a pretty nasty one. We'll decide later whether I chuck the photo up and show you. But so this is where we watched the footy last night. So there's a bar here. So we have a grass area through there. There's more caravans and stuff up through there. A little camping area. This is where the guy was playing music from before. But the last time we were here, none of this was here. There was just that grass area there, like literally that was the, the middle of the whole area here. But there was just that. The reception areas where you where you check in and um, these spas were here, but yeah, it's definitely evolved a bit for good reason, like it's you know. The climate out here is amazing. It's always very dry, but it can be very windy, so just be aware of that. You guys, a little quick tour around here. Very dirty, very dusty, but there's nice lush grass there is here as well. 
and that green area in the middle there, that's where they used to um, keep horses and cows and cattle and those types of things. And during the night they used to open up the gate and they used to just sort of wander through. So it wasn't uncommon to have a big cow sort of wander up in your tent there. Anyway, might get back and uh, start cooking up some brekkie. Alrighty, so that's breakfast about sorted now. Now I didn't show the artesian baths because there was uh, heaps of people in there, so it's not somewhere you can sort of sit in there and enjoy too long, I don't think, because there's clearly a lot of people want to get in there and there's only a couple there. I think it's pretty unlikely you'll have it yourself as well. But the kids are in good spirits today, which is nice. Um, Anita's just in there packing things up on the inside now and we smash this food down and we're going to start packing up and we'll hit the road pretty soon I think. Yeah.